so we are busy taking advantage of this super nice weather and getting Christmas magic ready for the town of Coburg in Northumberland County. So we are in Victoria Park now. Rotary Park is good to go. We've moved over to Rotary Park and we are hanging lights. Going to be different this year? Or is it going to be different this year? It's going to be different in that usually we have a light up night, which everybody looks forward to. It's a lot of fun, but we can't do that this year. So the lights will still be on in all the regular spots, just as many lights, just as much fun to be had, just not a light up night. And we will, we're doing something fun to announce to everybody when the lights are actually going to be on. So watch for that. And will they, uh, will they still be in the band shell? Still be in the band shell. We have a gingerbread theme going in the band shell. Um, we're doing um, the south, the main part of Victoria Park. We're doing the um, around the outdoor skating rink and we've added King Street this year. So we have some fun Christmas trees lining King Street. So it's still going to be nice and bright and merry. Doing the best we can with what we have, I guess. We are. So um, Town of Coburg staff are working as hard as they can. Um, we're still split up a little bit uh, due to COVID. So it's taking advantage of the time that we have and working as fast as we can to get the lights up there. And tell me, last last question, like you said, you just brought in some boxes of uh, lights and everything. But tell me about... Uh, I guess that happens every year where you have to get new ones just because of age. It does. So what happens is the lights obviously age and they break in the weather, but we have a real problem with squirrels. So the squirrels chew through a lot of our lights in Victoria Park. So every year we use as much as we possibly can from previous years, like every last strand. I have a volunteer that is a um, electrician by trade. He's retired now. He fixes as many lights as we possibly can. So what we have to buy, we do buy local from um, our local Canadian Tire and Home Hardware. And uh, we do buy a lot of lights every year, but we do reuse as well. Um, I'm putting you on the spot. And if you don't know, that's fine. Do you know how many lights that you will have up and things like that? There should be um, about over 180,000 lights will be up this year. So it's going to be nice and bright as long as we can get all the work done. You'll see we put the stars up this week. I say we. The parks crew put the stars up this week. So this year is the first time we have 25 stars in the tree. So it's going to be super pretty. Do you need anything? Do you need any volunteers or do you need everything, anything or is it? We're always looking for volunteers if anybody wants to come down and help. Unfortunately, this year we can't have um, a lot of volunteers indoors. So it's going to be all outdoor work. But I mean, the weather is beautiful. And if anybody wants to reach out to me, they can. Uh, you could put my contact information up there and we would love to have people. We, the, if anybody wants to come down and help, we welcome it. Tell me about... Uh... The Santa Claus Parade. So the Santa Claus Parade. Unfortunately, this year, um, the Santa Claus won't be happening. It parade won't be happening in its traditional format. But the town of Coburg and community services, we came up with another idea, and we're running a contest right now um, for three floats to be incorporated into C Christmas magic. Um, and so we had submissions, and the three floats you'll see them displayed around the beginning of December. And they'll be out for the duration as long as the weather can hold them. They'll be in Victoria Park, Rotary Park, and um, one will be at the library. So it's just um, a way for us to try to incorporate the Santa Claus Parade too because it's a big void for people this year not having it. So fingers crossed that we can be back to normal next year.